In this video, we will look at a few examples to practice working with inscribed quadrilaterals and circles. In example A, it says find the value of the missing variable. And what you should notice is that this is an inscribed quadrilateral because all four points, all four vertices are on the circle. So the main property of inscribed quadrilaterals is that their opposite angles are supplementary which means that they add up to 180 degrees. So since we know two angles in this quadrilateral, we can figure out the other two angles. X and 80 degrees over here must add up to 180 degrees. They must be supplementary. So that means X must be 100 degrees. Similarly, our 71 degree angle and y are supplementary. So 71 plus y equals 180 degrees. So if you minus 71, you figure out that y has to be 109 degrees. And you could always double check that 71 plus 80 plus 100 plus 109 equals 360, which is the sum of the angles in a quadrilateral. In example B, it says find the value of the missing variable. And it looks like we have three variables to figure out, x, y, and z. So first let's try to figure out x. Angle x right here is an inscribed angle, and the arc that it intercepts is this full arc right here, so 58 plus 106. So in order to figure out x, we have to add up 58 plus 106 because that's the full arc, and then divide it by 2 because it's an inscribed angle. So x is going to equal 58 plus 106 and then divided by 2, which is 82 degrees. So x is 82 degrees. Now because this is an inscribed quadrilateral, all four of these points are on the circle. That means that the 82 degrees and y are supplementary. So 82 plus y have to equal 180 degrees. So we can solve this for y by just subtracting 82 from both sides and get that y must equal 98 degrees. Similarly, angle z and the 93 degree angle also must be supplementary. So we can do 93 plus z equals 180 degrees and subtract 93 from both sides and get z equals 87 degrees. All right, let's look at example C. In example C, it says find x and y in the picture below. And we again have an inscribed quadrilateral, so we have to remember opposite angles will be supplementary and add up to 180 degrees. So the 105 degree angle and this angle, 7x plus 1, must add up to 180 degrees. So we can set up an equation, 105 plus 7x plus 1 equals 180 degrees. And then we just have to solve that for x. If we combine like terms, we get 106 plus 7x equals 180, and minus 106, 7x equals 74. So once we divide by 7, we get x is approximately 10.57. Now for y, we can do the same thing, because we know that these two angles must equal 180 degrees, they're supplementary, so we can set up an equation, 4y plus 14 plus 7y plus 1 equals 180 degrees. Combine like terms, and you get 11y plus 15 equals 180 degrees. Subtract 15, and you get 11y equals 165, which means that y equals 15.